Alright everyone, so today I bring you a little different video. This is a comparison of my mom's 2011 B BMW 328i xDrive and my aunt's 2012 Audi A4 2.0T Quattro with the Premium Plus package. So I'll start with the BMW. I do have videos on my channel of this car. Um, I do have a test drive and a full review. So this comparison will not really have a necessarily full in-depth tour of this car as that can be found on other spots in my channel. Both cars are a bit dirty. Um, I apologize. But I would say both of them are definitely very good looking cars. Here's my aunt's Audi. Like I said, it's also a bit dirty. Alright, so we'll start with the BMW. So the BMW is optioned up more than the Audi is. This has the navigation package, um, so this has iDrive along with um, controls for your nav, um, radio, CD, and telephone. So I'll start it up, put your foot on the brake, press the start and stop button, and it starts right up. This, the 328i, um, this is the last year that they came with the 3 liter V6. Excuse me, not V6, I6. I can't believe I said that. Um, and this produces 230 horsepower and 200 pound-feet of torque. Has a very, very raspy exhaust note. I'll rev it up a little bit for you. I like the exhaust note a lot in this. Um, and ours is, as you can tell, just a little over, uh, or almost at 13,000 miles. And this comes with the six-speed automatic, has sport mode, and also manual mode with the correct polarity. You push up to downshift and pull back to upshift, just like you should. Um, we also have controls for um, your multimedia up here, um, CD controls, Bluetooth, answering calls, volume control. Also have a sunroof, full power, tilt and sliding. Our BMW also comes equipped with this SOS, SOS feature, which is similar to OnStar, um, that will dispatch someone if you're in need of assistance. Storage in here, not that great, not gonna lie. Um, but materials in this cabin are great. It's all very soft touch leather. Um, we have some nice, nicely grained wood here and up here as well. Um, have your headlights, fog lights. And this has dual zone automatic climate control. Also have heated seats with three settings for both the driver and passenger. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it with this. So I'm going to show you the back seat of this car. I'd say the back seat is perfectly average. Right now I'm sitting behind my driving position. Which, you know, there's a decent amount of room for a road trip. Um, quality of the materials continues back here. However, there are no door pockets or bins, um, or yeah, bins in the front seat. So that's an issue for storage back here, as there really is none. As you, there are rear seat vents, which is nice, but like I said, no storage in either the side or the seat backs. So that is a bit of a disappointment. Uh, 
show off the engine a little. So like I said, this comes with BMW's 3 liter inline 6, 230 horsepower, 200 pound feet of torque. This is the last year that the inline 6 was offered in the 3 series. As in 2012, they switched to the 2 liter turbo 4 cylinder engine. Alright, so I'm going to turn this off, we'll switch over to the Beamer, I mean Audi. So like I said, this is a 2012 Audi A4. This model has just over 17,000 miles on it. And similar to the BMW, you have to put your foot down and you have to push this in to start. What, one thing that the Audi comes with that the BMW does not is this electronic parking brake, which is very nice. And this comes with an 8-speed automatic, which it has a sport mode, and it also has a manual mode over here. With, however, the polarity is incorrect. Stability control off. And this, this one does not come equipped with nav, however, it does have a basic version of Audi's MMI system with um, Bluetooth capability, there is FM and AM radio, satellite radio, and there's also some media. And on the steering wheel you have volume controls, oh just kidding, these aren't volume controls, that's for the uh, um, changing songs, or uh, stations. This is for the volume controls. Turn it all the way up. You're facing me eating a sandwich full. Alright, now I'm gonna do do a little sound demo if I can. So yeah, the sound system here is pretty good. Um, so, like, um, BMW has switched all of their cars, or all of their base model 3 series to 2 liter 4 cylinders, whereas the A4 has had this for years. This comes with a 2 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged engine with 211 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. So we'll give the engine a little bit of a rev. The limit's at about 3,700 in park, so... Um, the in, the quality in here is very good. Um, I'm not sure the quality is quite to the level of the BMW because this is all leather in the BMW. However, this plastic is nicely grained um, and it's very solid. However, this looks like this aluminum piece has gotten some wear over time. Uh, storage is also a bit better. We have some cup holders over here, not a little stupid cup holder up here along with a decent, I guess, okay size compartment, similar to the BMW. Show you the back seat. There's kind of stuff in it, so I'm not going to sit down. Um, but back seat, similar size to the 3 Series. Um, so it's decent for four people. It might be a squeeze for five. So... So as I said before, this is Audi's 2 liter um, turbocharged 4 cylinder engine with direct injection. This has 211 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque, almost kind of sounds like a diesel at idle, um, but that's just a characteristic of these turbocharged German 4 cylinders. Very peppy engine. Um, both of these cars, well, 
the BMW has the advantage on horsepower, the Audi has the advantage on torque. So they are pretty evenly matched. Perhaps the Audi's a bit quicker out of the gate. Um, but overall, they're both very nice cars. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little comparison. Um, there will also be a test drive of this Audi uploaded shortly. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed it and you watched the test drive of the A4. So thanks for watching, guys.